Hi everybody, it's Anne back again. I'm on stage three of the declutter. I hope you have seen stage one and stage two. Stage three is lipsticks. I have a lot of lipsticks, or had a lot of lipsticks. I'm going to start with the lipsticks. I've got the camera rolling, so we're going to start with the lipsticks and such. It's one of those, I don't have that many, but I want to weed out colors that are just basically duplicated. Okay, that's the glosses. Those can wait, so I can do the glosses all at once. Okay. Now, these are the lip pencils. I don't have many of those anyway, so they're just going to go right back in the box. I've got this one, this e.l.f. set aside because A, it hasn't been touched, and B, I have another one. The exact same color. This came as a freebie. So that one is going to be set aside for somebody else to use because it's not being touched. Let's see. Which ones do I actually want to get rid of anyway? Oh, that's my Skin Icelandic medicated stuff. Okay, there's my Elf Bordeaux. See? Bordeaux, Bordeaux. Bordeaux, Bordeaux. And this is the one I've used semi-occasionally. A dark color, don't use it often. But I'm going to stick that back over there. Now, some of the ones I really want to get rid of, one way or another, is things like the um, Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Metallic, because the metallic just makes my lips look nasty. It just it dries them out, sucks all the moisture out. It's just it's horrible. I'm going to get rid of this one, which is a hard candy lip pencil that's forever more old and it bleeds horrible. Okay, this is one of the e.l.f. liquid lipsticks that's in the little roll-up tube. Had this forever, but I don't know that I have a color that matches. So, now, let's see. This is a Milani lipstick that very much like the um, the hard candy, just bleeds like a feather mucker. It's a manufacturer. And I'm just, it's time for them to go. Okay, these two are Wet n Wild Mega Sticks, the lip balm stains. Now, technically, They've got color, so you could call them lipsticks, but they're more of a lip balm. And they're, it, it's a different formula, which I really enjoy when my mouth is very, very dry. So those are just going to go right back in there. They're not going anywhere. This is the Jolie that I got in my first Dipsy bag. And it's a very pretty color, and I like wearing it. I like the formula. It's it's really comfortable. Okay, this is color workshop stuff that I got in a gift box. And at this point, I'm pretty sure I've got things that match this already in the rest of the collection. So I'm going to set these over here in the get rid of it. 
but I will keep looking to make sure that I've actually got things that match the colors so I can keep them. All right. Wet and Wild Liquid Cat Suit High Shine. This one is in Taffy Tantrum. Just got it. Not given it up yet. The High Shine Liquid Cat Suit, as opposed to the Metallic, the, com it, the formula is really comfortable. It feels really good on my mouth, and it stays. It just stays. Now, these are my AOA Studio liquids that I started collecting. And this one is called Lit, L-I-T-T, but it's a really, really dark blue. And it's really, really pretty. This is my go-to for more radical mouth. Doo -doo. Okay, this one is Insta. Kind of a corally shade. I love the AOA Studio formula. I really do. This one is called Cashmere. And it's kind of a pale gray. That pale gray looks gorgeous under some toppers. I've got some toppers that are great. Now, I'm having to rethink keeping this one it's called doll and yeah it's a bright orange but it's really close to insta and doll doesn't like this particular one i think it's like just an oddball in the formula series because it doesn't like to dry down properly and it bleeds around the edges so i'm having to think on this one so it's going to go over here on this side for now All right, this one is called Naked, and let me tell you, on my mouth, it is naked. You would think there is absolutely nothing there. And this one, this one's actually worse. My lips disappear. <laughs> this one is called Fleek. See how pale that is compared to the other one. And it like literally, if I, depending on the color I've got on my face, my lips disappear. But it makes a great base for some of the some of the glosses I have. I'm gonna get me a wet wipe here. Because I'm likely to need it. Likely to need it. Now my lipstick collection is probably one of the biggest things I have for a collection. I just love lipstick. It's fun. Okay, this is one of the Wet n Wild Silkies. Hot Red. Now that is a hot red. But it's not, it's not as vibrant as some of the other reds that I have. Which is why I look at it and go, it, it says hot red. Looks kind of pink, don't it? Okay, Wet n Wild Silk Honolulu is calling. Now I got this one because of the coral theme for the year. wild silk okay I've done it again and this one hasn't been touched yet at least not much it is yet another hot red it's the same color put it over here with the extra Bordeaux let's hit this Rimmel this Rimmel it's got a it's one of the two steps so you've got the color in one section and then a clear topper on the other side. This stuff actually lasts for bloody ever. And that's that's my kind of red. That just it's my kind of red. It 
It's a very comfortable formula. I really like it. Okay. It doesn't really have a name exactly. It says fuchsia with blue pearl. Alrighty. It's pink. <laughs> well, fuchsia's pink. It's pink. But it's sort of, if you look at it in the tube, it kind of has an iridescence. But not on the skin. Kind of a shine, but not really on your mouth. Or at least not on my hand skin. I'll have to think about that one. Okay. LA Colors Shiny. This one is called Posh. It's another, it's frosty pink. I got a lot of pinks. I need to rethink some of the pinks. Okay, let's just keep going, digging out the pinks. Okay, this one is an LA Colors and it's called Sorbet. Okay, that one's at least a little different. It's an orange. I believe I picked that one up again to go with the color of the year theme. Just like I picked this one up to go with the color of the year theme. This is one of the Beauty Benefit Hollywood liquid lipstick. And I don't see a color on it. But Yeah, it's almost the same color as There's this one too. Yeah, as a couple of others that I've already got. And I've got this one and this one. And this one's going over here. Let my daughter in law pick through some of them. Okay, now this one is pink frost. Imagine that. Me and Pink Frost. You know, mm. it, it, it's it's almost not there. Yeah, it's it's too pale. I mean, I remember liking this when I was a teenager. This color. Yeah, it it needs. I'm not a teenager anymore. Needs to go over there. Okay, this one is this is from Bite Beauty. It's one of the pieces I got in one of the samples. And it's called Glace. And it's sort of a pink, but it's also sort of a dusty rose kind of brown. With a lot of brown under it. But it's pretty, and I'm keeping this. <laughs> Because it's still pretty brand new, comparatively. Let's see, there's one of my other pinks. Okay, this is an elf, and it's called Flirtatious. They're probably pigmented. Yeah, it's definitely pigmented. And it's not horrendously pink. So... Yeah, that one's staying for a while yet. That's fairly new. Alright, that's the other elf. It's called Nostalgic, but that's more of a nude. That's more of a can't see it. Yeah, that's close to... That's this real one. close to Fleek. Okay. Let me get rid of that one. I can't remember what the, this one's chai, that's the other little bite, no, that's a dark brown. Okay. Elf. Berry Sorbet. That one's definitely a wine. Wet n 
wild pink sugar. Slightly more pigmented version of the one next to it. Uh huh. I have a little bit of an orange cast. Yeah, but apparently that color just kind of disappears on my mouth. Yeah. That's in the no -seum. I don't need no -seums. If I'm going to be bothered to put it on, I want to see them. Sorbet. Don't tell me I've got another dupe on the hot red stuff. Okay. There's no blue in it. In this one. It's a yeah, deep, but deeper tone. how many do I need? I've already got one of these over here. Those don't look to be the same color to me. Yeah, but they're awfully similar. Yeah. So the one in the silver tube is darker. Okay. That's staying over there. All right. Flower. Flower. That one I may keep because it's not as puny as some of the other quote-unquote nudes. This over there. Dusty Rose. It's almost the same as this one. A little bit darker, but not much. That depends on the way the light hits it. One of the browns. That's a blue. That's a brown. That's a brown. Okay, this is a red. Blind date. That's another one of the wine colors. Oh, that's a good one. Though. Okay, this is one of the wet and wild silks. I'm going to keep, well, I'm going to look at that again once I look at a couple of these. Now, I ordered a set from Clean Color called Femme Lipstick. And all of these came all together. This one is called Cranberry Mix. That is a nice red. That one's not going anywhere. This one is called, again, with the soft rose kind of thing. Let's kind of put this one up here. That's another one that I believe is going to be end up being a keeper. Then we have brown. Just because that's where I'm at at this point. Put it down here next to these nudes. Brown. Just chocolate brown. Yep. A little bit deeper version of this one. Mm hmm But that's another one of my statement shades. <laughs> it's kind of like that dark blue. Yes, got to clean off the hand a little bit. Now, this one is kind of a fun color that came in that clean color set. It's just called Oro. It's 
just gold. And I've used it for effect on a couple of times. Some of it times, some couple of times I've just brushed it over the top of something else, like the brown. And it's really, really pretty. Let's see. Femme Clean Color Chocolate. Looks to me more like toffee. Yeah, caramel. But it's pretty. Now I haven't had these all this long, all that long, so I'm not really bummed about keeping this set. Okay, last one from the Femme set: Burnt Sugar. Darker colors, but they're not. It's not like going solid black or the deep, deep blue. Well, that's brown with the burgundy undercast. And then I have Color Mates, and it says it's ruby red. I wouldn't call that ruby red. Yeah, but I've got so many other reds that are so similar. Yeah. Okay, this is another brown. This is the, this is an elf touch of nude. I'm beginning to worry about me and nudes here. Well, at least that one won't disappear completely, but it's very, very close to the AOA Studios. To this one. Yeah. The only difference is it's got a bit of a frost to it. But this is also one of the newer ones, so I'm going to keep that one a little bit longer. This is some sort of red from LA Colors. blue in it than the no, blue one there right here. Yeah. It's more of a, a cad. Yeah, but like I said, again, I've got a hundred oh, tons of red. Close to it, yeah. No, I don't like red at all. No, not me. Mm -mm. No. Alright, this one is LA Colors Expresso. It's way close to a couple of other browns I have. Yeah. It's a little bit lighter than this. Yeah, but... Some of the same undertone. It's... There's one of these that was real close. No. I'd have to go all the way back through pawing, but... Might have been this one. Hmm? Might have been this one. That's a purple. Okay, put you over here, because, like I said, how many browns does one woman need? Okay, now this one's kind of weird. Definitely off the beaten track. It's called Pixie Tide, and it's one of those weirdo things I picked up from Clean Color. It's got kind of a gel clear coat around it and a center color, and the center color is green. <laughs> that still seems looks like stenosis. Yeah, Jim thinks it looks like I've gone cyanotic, so. But still. Yeah, I think I'll put this in the pile. Let, let, let my daughter in law see if my granddaughter wants it. She can be cyanotic. <laughs> okay, elf lip oil. It's sort of like a gloss, but not entirely like a gloss. More of a 
stain. Yeah, it's it's kind of a stain and kind of not. And, but it lasts all bloody day if you put it on. This one is called Dewy Berry. Dewberry. I like playing with that one. Okay, here's my other baby bite. And it's another brown. It's called Chai. But since it's bite, and this came in one of my sample boxes, I'm not giving this up yet. I'm not giving the bites up anytime. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you got to save your high end. And this one is technically not a lipstick. It's an e.l.f. lip balm, kind of like these Wet n' Wild sticks. It's in, God help me, here we go again with the nude. But it's got kind of a, a menthol bit to it, and it's got some SPF in it, and yeah, the SPF is 15. But it, like, disappears. It just plain disappears. It's going over here. It's going over here. Now, the only thing I've got left is my lip glosses, and I'm not really thinking I'm going to do much of anything with the lip glosses for thinning out, except for maybe like these, which were supposed to be for my granddaughter, and then she like ignored them, so I stuck them in my collection. Anyway, I got a Prestige Vinyl Wear High Shine Lip Gloss Set. And there's a pale blue, there's a copper, there's a pale pink, there's a peachy pink, and there's a, God help me, dark purple. And I do mean this pooch is a dark, dark purple. I'm not giving these up anytime soon. I haven't had them that long. The pink Sephora gloss was a Prezi. It was a gift from Miss Pink Sweets. And it's just too pretty to let go at this point. Because I like using this as a topper over some of those liquid matte lipsticks. Just for the heck of it. Yes, it's cotton candy pink. And the, na the official name of it is hard to read, but it's something about a mermaid. Something about a mermaid. Okay, this one is my Beauty Benefits lip gloss. I picked it Fuchsia. up. Fuchsia. Fuchsia Mermaid. Thank you, dear. You can read better than I can. I picked this up to go as a topper, kind of, with that, uh, that corally color from Benefit. But, I just, I like this over some of the liquid mattes. And it's, it's, it's subtle, but it's got some glitter to it, so, you know. And then there's the diamond lip gloss from AOA Studio that's just called Mermaid. That's all it says is just Mermaid. And it's kind of the standard blue greeny multi tone shift with the gold and stuff in it. Like, you know, your basic mermaid look. And the last one is just this Elf Clear. And it's like, I really don't think you need this one swatched, huh? Not so much. Anyway, getting rid of these. Uh, get rid of that one. Keep this one a little while longer. These are staying. But, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about the, the, the amount that I'm moving out.
it's like, let's be real, I still, with this, I've got way more lipstick than anybody's going to need in a lifetime. Or at least for the next several years, because this stuff does go bad. It can go moldy, it can go funky. A little less likely to go moldy now that we're no longer in Florida. That place was hell on makeup. Anyway, I will be picking another category, and we will see where we go from here. Alrighty, I have gone from having four of those little containers that I picked up at Dollar Tree with all the little boxes to having only two left. And they're not quite full. So, yeah, I think I did a pretty good job clearing out some lipstick. Tell me what you think. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? Consider subscribing, please. If you're feeling generous, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're curious about what the rest of the declutter is going to be, I've got eyeshadows left and if you think this one was long wait for it there was a lot of eyeshadow just remember I'm on a budget I don't have bail money be good